Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Pastor Jonathan Boynton coming to you from my house for Grace Kids Chapel this morning. It's been a little while since we've sung together, so I thought today we might begin by singing one of our favorite songs as we gather, This Little Light of Mine. Let's sing together. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let anyone it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let anyone it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let anyone it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. This little light of mine, I am going to let it shine. I am so glad to be with you today as we always should remember to let our lights shine that God uses us in this world. But today, I have a new friend for you. As you might see my sign here, I'm at Bok Bok Coop. Um, Bok Bok lives, lives with me most of the time. Um, but Bok Bok's cousin came to visit while Bok Bok was away. Bok Bok's cousin showed up on my doorstep, and Bok Bok's cousin doesn't have a name yet. Would you like to meet Bok Bok's cousin? I thought you might. Well, good morning. Bok Bok. Bok Bok. Well, you don't exactly sound like Bok Bok. Bok Bok sounds something like this. Bok Bok. You sound Bok Bok. Well, what makes you sound so sad today? He's sad that Bok Bok's not here for this trip when he came to spend some time at Bok Bok's coop. Yeah, Bok Bok decided that he had to go on a different trip, and he'll be back soon, so maybe one of these days you'll get to hang out with your buddy. But in the meantime, can you hang out with us? You can hang out with us? That sounds like a good idea. Bok Bok likes to hear the Bible stories, and today we have a really special one. Do you think you can hang out with us and listen to the Bible story? You want to know if there's a chicken in the story? Hmm, sounds like somebody I know. Bok Bok always wants to know if there's a chicken in the story. Alrighty, so you listen really carefully, okay? And see if there's a chicken in the story. And if not, that's okay. But we might find a story for you some other time in the future. Can you sit over here beside me while I read the story? Can you say hi to the boys and girls? Oh, alrighty. Hi, boys and girls. Our story today comes from the Spark Story Bible. It's the children's Bible um, from Augsburg Fortress in 1517 media. The story today is called The Greatest Commandment. The Pharisees were a group of people who had lots and lots of laws, rules. Altogether, they had more than 600 of them. Whew, that's a lot of rules to follow. One day, one of the Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, what's the greatest law of them all. And he didn't think Jesus could possibly pick just one law out of so many. He was trying to trick Jesus. But Jesus knew the man was trying to trick him, and he looked at the man and smiled. And Jesus said, love God 
with all your heart and with all your soul and all your mind. And Jesus said, this is the greatest of all the commandments, but there's another really important one too. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you obey these two laws, then you obey all the laws. The Pharisees' jaws dropped to the floor. They were shocked to know just how smart Jesus was. They were surprised Jesus had answered their question and turned their trick around on them. They didn't know what to say. And then Jesus had a question for them. What do you think about the Messiah? Whose son is he? Well, that's an easy question for the Pharisees. They grew up learning in school that the Messiah came from the family of David. So that's what they told Jesus. Then why do all the people from the family of David praise David as the Messiah? Jesus asked. Now that was a hard question. The Pharisees didn't have an answer. And they backed away and they didn't trick Jesus again. Jesus had all sorts of people coming up to him throughout his ministry, throughout his time, and asking him questions. And sometimes they were just trying to trick him. But the one today was a wonderful story about the greatest commandment. The greatest commandment to love God and love one another. Can you repeat that after me? Love God, love each other. Say that with me. Love God, love each other. Yes, we love God and we love each other. And those are the greatest commandments, Jesus says. So today, when you leave school, when you go home, or if you're seeing this at home, I want you to remember that we are called to love God and love each other. Love God, love neighbor. And Jesus says these are the greatest commandments. Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Thank you for our moms, our dads, our brothers, sisters, and friends. Be with our teachers as they teach us and remind us of your care. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for coming to spend time with me today. I hope that you have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Bye.